Hi. You just typed in what to plant in full shade. And I'm going to show you this little itty bitty garden, which I haven't really finished planting yet. But uh, this is off of my back patio. And it gets, well, there's a huge oak tree there and uh, a red bud there. So it gets, it's pretty much all shade. Okay, here's one of my favorites. This is wild ginger and it grows very well in full shade. And uh, there aren't a lot of flowering plants that grow in full shade. There are shade plants, but they usually need some dappled sun to, to flower, or maybe some morning sun. This just will grow in shade, so this is a great one. Now, see these things here? These are, uh, airplane plants. <laughs> They're a regular house plant. I think some people call them spider plants, but uh, they actually come back every year. Now everything I'm showing you is perennial. It comes back every year. And uh, these, these airplane plants are pretty cool. Uh, they are a, a house plant. Here's one right here. That, it looks kind of ragged because it's been in the garage all winter. But uh, they put off little shoots. See this right here? Okay, it's growing right off of the plant. Now as the summer goes on, this will get dozens and dozens of these and you just take it off. See it's already got a root on the end. You just take those and plant them. This is variegated. Those others were not. <laughs> but uh, you can buy one house plant like that and plant these and mulch them a little bit in the winter and they'll come back every year. This is a chameleon plant. It will grow in full shade. It does, uh, it can take some sun. When it gets sun, it gets red in the leaves. Uh, you might see there's a little bit, tiny bit of red left in that one. But this comes back every year. It is spreading. It is invasive. So if you have a place that nothing else will grow, like under a tree or something, this is great for that. Now, ferns are another plant that will grow in full shade. And the ones you see here come back every year. There's another one over here. There's a little bit of sun on that, but not for long. <laughs> this is King Solomon's Seal. Uh, this is a lovely plant that will grow in full shade. Uh, there's some more wild ginger back in the corner, full shade. Uh, it's windy, we've got leaves on everything. Hostas. Hostas also come back in here and they will grow in full shade. There's another hosta. Uh, now this is an asparagus fern. It is also a house plant, but it comes back every year if you mulch it. So um, these are great. There's another little fern there. Okay, well, I hope this has helped you with plants that grow in full shade. Um, that is kind of a difficult thing sometimes, but the ones I've shown you are maintenance-free. Uh, they're, they're easy to grow, and most of them, you know, they just come back and get bigger every year. Okay? Alrighty, well, I hope this has been helpful. And I want to give you another tip. Uh, if you're an avid gardener, you spend a lot of money at Lowe's <laughs> or your local home and garden store. Um, I can find you a way to save uh, money on all of your gardening supplies. You know, whether it's uh, ordering seeds or, or um, bulbs by mail or whether it's buying a lawnmower or a blower or, you know, any kind of tools. You can get cash back and save a whole lot of money on those at places like, uh, gosh, Target, Walmart, Lowe's, uh, Ace Hardware, Burpee. Um, there are many, many stores on this, uh, on this site. So I want you to just click on the button below and start saving. It's easy and it's free. Okay, make it a great day. Bye-bye.